Tom Holland reunites with the Russo brothers for Apple TV's Cherry, the first project for Apple TV that people might actually watch has finally arrived. <laughs> with all the random images I've seen of this movie, I'm going to assume that everyone got all the Spider-Man 3 Spider-Verse facts wrong. This is the real Spider-Verse. Yeah, this yeah. is what people have been seeing <laughs> yeah. shots from. That, like, oh, there's so many Peter Parkers in this. <laughs> that Spider-Man in the mask, no, it's gonna be in this no, trailer. It's... <laughs> I'm 23 years old and sometimes I wonder if life was a good Well, that bumper. I take all the beautiful things to heart till I about die from it. <laughs> Uh, dang. That's a nightmare. <laughs> what? My one true accomplishment was not done. Uh. I have this voice, but it'll suck. One day it'll go quiet. I don't imagine that anyone goes in for a robbery if they're not in some kind of desperation. <laughs> I've been at this a while now, and it's no secret what my face looks like. Get on the ground! One thing about robbing banks is you're mostly robbing women, so the last thing you want to be is rude. Very <laughs> personal. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> yeah, Yo, this looks crazy! I <laughs> know! <laughs> She's from Wayne, isn't she? What you saw in her that made you say yes. This is what I came here for. Sometimes I feel like I've already seen everything that's gonna happen. And it's a nightmare. <laughs> I might finally use my free Apple <laughs> TV subscription. <laughs> Right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was crazy. This is Apple's devil all the time. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Man, that Tom Holland is something, huh? Every time he shows up now, it's just like, Tom Holland is here to act. <laughs> yeah. Watch as he can portray <laughs> so many states of anguish and drama. Uh, what is, uh, let me, I gotta look this up. I, I haven't looked anything up. I've only seen like social media images of this and I, I knew the Russo brothers directed it. Well, you know, when Mysterio opens up the multiverse then Peter Parker is forced into a life right. of crime and robbery. An army medic suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder becomes a serial bank robber after an addiction to drugs puts him in debt. Wow. I was getting some Darren Aronofsky vibes too. Yeah, that yeah, was some for sure. very prevalent vibes throughout, and especially now that I'm hearing about the addiction element and the kind of the hallucination, getting stuck in your memories. It looks like he's dealing a lot with that level of trauma, the racing thoughts being caught in the past. I'm really intrigued by this, and man, this, this looks like. This is like Oscar worthy stuff for yeah. Tom Holland. I wish it was coming out this year so that way it could get an Oscar push. <laughs> yeah. You know, you instead know. of February of next year. Whenever the Oscars <laughs> decide to happen in 2021. But yeah, I mean, this looked really cool, but also really heavy and dramatic. At least as this trailer is pitching it, like pulse pounding. I love that freeze frame motif they went with, just showing all these different moments mm -hmm. that, you know, he lived through all these different kind of harrowing looking moments and whatnot. I'm curious to see how, like, the rest of the movie 
shapes around him because I'm almost certain that like Tom Holland is gonna rake in praise for this <laughs> just because yeah he's shown especially on the heels of like Devil all the time and everything like just how caliber of an actor a performer he is and like it looks like he's really gonna throw himself into the life of this like traumatized soldier figure and I think it's really cool that the Russo brothers after coming off of the biggest movie of all time <laughs> you know yeah. after coming off of that they're doing something that looks very experimental in mm. terms of what people will probably anticipate for them to do next. Yeah. This does feel like it has an interesting pulse to it. I imagine that it'll probably be a little bit more, I don't know if the word would be meditative, but probably a little bit more deliberate or slower paced than maybe what the trailer leads on. I get some taxi driver vibes to it as well. Yeah, it seems like the kind of movie that might really spend time just like sitting with him in his shoes, you know? Because as exciting of a trailer as it is, as, as like trippy of a trailer as it is, I imagine that underneath it all, the emotional undertones would probably be some very disturbing qualities throughout. Oh, yeah. Especially in a tale of addiction. <laughs> yeah, because it's dealing with the tale of addiction and this guy being a bank robber. And while there's some humor to be had with it, especially when he's breaking the fourth wall, talking to the, talking to the audience, the narration and all that, I don't think it's going to leave you with the feeling of, wow... This looks cool. I imagine that the path that he goes down, even with the bank robbery stuff, might be like a cool, intriguing hook. I think ultimately it's going to be like, oh man, this is a bad, bad life this guy's living. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But who's, who's, the, who's the actress again? Oh, what Forgive is Forgive me, name? guys. Three she's, hours of sleep today. She, she, wasn't she in Wayne? She, she yes, so she is. The, she, I think yeah. she's the girl, uh, the the girl opposite of Wayne. Yeah, and she's great on that show, and it's cool to see her get like you know the next bump up into you know a movie like this where it seems like she's gonna have a lot to play. <laughs> yeah. That love angle element and the way they were handling the hopping around time was another Aronofsky touch that I especially mm -hmm. got from here. I'm really curious to see how the visuals in terms of the cinema photography will reflect whatever current mind state he has. That's another thing I thought was interesting about the direction of this trailer was it seemed like depending on where he was at what point in his life, the movie was shot different. Yeah, yeah, you I can know, see that. like the maybe the more he gets, the more trauma he collects, and the further he loses his grip on reality, maybe the more stylized the movie will become. Like the narration part made me wonder about that too, because obviously, you know, like it's a fun motif to have the character breaking the fourth wall and all that. Yeah. But I can also see potential for a very unreliable narrator scenario, given <laughs> that this looks super subjective. Yeah, and there are times where too, especially I think in like out of rehab sequence or maybe drug trip sequences, it looked like uh, they did like a four by four for I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, frame it's like the has changed, <laughs> yeah. or there's even like some of these shots look like hey, they had a little bit of like a fish eye to really give. Yeah. Like that's another thing that kind of reminded me, like you said, of Darren Aronofsky, where it's like that sort of you're it's super wide and you're just there for all of the nitty gritty ugliness and harshness of it, you know. And I'm also wondering about this concept of time, especially because it's honing so much in on this character's trauma. One thing with characters who are caught in their own traumatic state is the last thing they are is in the present moment. People in life a lot of the times they're either caught in the past or worried about the future. And at first I was a little bit confused. I'm like, is there time travel in this movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is it gonna be one of those movies where he's like jumping through parallel lives and universes? Seriously, and that's, where, that's where my mind was going. I'm like, I'm a little confused at first. I had, to, I had to look up the IMDb. This concept of time of like also being caught up in the regrets. I don't know. They have the time in a bottle song yeah. playing over, so... It seems like time in and of itself will play some pivotal role, and I mean even maybe in just a super immediate way, because it seems like this guy is going to be either spending his time, like, whacked out on drugs, or doing some kind of harrowing operation to well, get That's what drugs. I mean, like, <laughs> that either those kind of elements of doing, like, a bank robbery, yeah. or getting drugs. A lot of times, people who suffer wood trauma, by doing those things, puts them in the moment. Yeah. They're yeah. in the moment finally getting that high, that yeah rush so yeah the crazy direction seems like it's going to fluctuate depending on whatever the main character tom holland is representing yeah. so yeah it looks like a real directing and acting awesome duo <laughs> let's do it's it it's yeah. like if darren aronofsky and danny boyle crashed into each danny other. boyle is the yeah. uh, that's the freaking director i was like damn what director is it that i'm not <laughs> citing that is certainly coming to mind yeah, yeah. It, has, it has that look of some of those like smaller movies. oh yeah no it's like, like a train like, spotting vibe train yeah spotting oh, that yeah. other one with james mcavoy like uh, not uh, that other one i know with what james you're talking McAvoy. about yeah. i forgot what it's called yeah. it's 
a thriller. You can look yeah. it up. It's recent. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, damn, this was this was surprising. Interesting, yeah. What'd you guys think of the trailer? Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe. Click that notification bell. Hit the like button. Catch you guys soon.